The fashion landscape is undergoing a drastic change right now as we speak, as you are watching this video. You see, for the longest time, high luxury fashion was about quality, craftsmanship, all of these things. But many years back, you know, in the 2010s, designers like Virgil Abloh at Off-White and later Louis Vuitton, guys like them, they brought in streetwear into fashion. Just ignore the fact that Raph Simmons was doing it like a decade earlier, okay? It doesn't matter. Now, what happened is streetwear got really, really big. Big brands like Balenciaga started making more and more of that stuff and it ended up just exploding. Everywhere you looked, you're seeing t-shirts and hoodies and jeans and sneakers. Whereas the old school luxury brands, they always used to be about suits and tailoring and formal pants and dress shoes and sweaters, I don't know, all that stuff. So all these brands that they were making for many years, the big bucks on these pretty simple and cheap t-shirts and hoodies, but just now in the past season or two, we're seeing this shift really take place as the biggest brands in the world start moving back towards that high luxury bread and butter of, of tailoring and more high scale craftsmanship. So what does that mean for you? Why are you here today watching this video? Well, I hope it's because you wanna see this great men's fashion video. But no, today we have two pieces that really epitomize this dichotomy. You've got the two sides of luxury fashion, the streetwear and the more classic craftsmanship. And in order to show that change, we are looking at the brand Enfant Riche de Prime, also often called ERD, who are a really, really amazing, in my opinion, a luxury fashion brand that has historically done streetwear really, really well. They're doing kind of like grungy, punk inspired, distressed stuff, but doing it at a, a higher level than your average brand out there. And especially over the past couple of years, they've done both sides of this divide very, very well. On one side, you'll have really, really nice t-shirts and jeans and all that stuff. But then more and more, they're moving towards like fine tailoring and sweaters and really well-made footwear, all of this stuff. And it's coming together in a nice, neat little package that is off on Riche de Prime. So to illustrate this divide, we have two ERD pieces. On one side, we have a hoodie from an early season. And on the other, we have a much more recent sweater, or they call it a thermal, but I, it's really more of a sweater, I think. Anyway, what I want you to do is look at these, look at the details, look at the fits that we'll end up putting together. But also, if you like the hoodie, why don't you leave this video a like? And if you like the sweater, give me a comment and we'll get a real number here of what the people prefer, what you prefer. So that's enough chatter. Let's look at these pieces and let's start with the finer side of things, right? This is what they call a thermal, okay? Uh, I guess because it has like a lot of stretch to it and it's made out of cotton, but I think it's a sweater. I'm gonna call it a sweater. It's this bad boy right here and it's got an incredible amount of stretch to it. It has like a nice silky feeling. I felt this same kind of um, texture to a lot of Rick Owens stuff, I would say. And I really like, it's got this black print on here and it's a darker black when you've got it right in front of you. But as it gets put on, it starts to gray out because the space is in between each of those ribs is not printed while just the top is. And it gives it a really nice uh, look as it contours with your body. Because one other thing you'll see is that it is quite tight. Now this is a very recent piece. It is just from just the last year. So clearly ERD, they're starting to get on the train of finer and finer pieces because that's where the market is moving. And you see that even in the material and also the origin because almost all ERD stuff is made in the US of A, which is very rare for modern brands in their own right. But for this piece here, they actually decided to take it a step further and go to the, the heart of luxury clothing. And they made this piece in Italy. And I think that's just another step towards the changing atmospheres here, where even these kind of more niche brands like Enfant Riche de Prime, they're moving more towards those, those capitals and those classic ways of doing things. Now some finer points here, it is a nice ribbed crew neck, but it grips you nice and tight. It's almost a little bit like a mock neck at times. And you've got these really, really long cuffs 
and this big long hem right here, it makes for just a really, really nice effect. And I think it's very striking. And that's leaving aside the, the whatever this guy's doing right here. And this almost, I think it's like a flame pattern here, but it also just, it becomes like an abstraction as it gets put on and worn and curves with your body. So I am a huge, huge fan of this piece. I was so psyched to pick it up. As soon as they listed it, I was like, I've gotta get that someday, somehow. But that is only one side of our equation, right? This is the new school, the sweater. I mean, it's the old school that's, that's become the new school again. I, you know, fashion is cyclical. It all comes around, okay? But now we've got to look at that kind of world that guys like Virgil Abloh brought into the luxury space, and that is the streetwear. And t-shirts, I think, are the epitome of streetwear. That's what everyone recognizes as streetwear. But right below that, or maybe even equal to it, is the hoodie. And that is what we have here. And I think we've got an excellent instance of it. So inside this orange tote from Justin Reed, which I'm showing just because it's cool. And also Justin Reed is like a fantastic consignment shop if you're looking for, for more niche luxury or vintage brands. But from Justin Reed, I got this hoodie right here and it does so many things so well. So if I open this bad boy up and lift it up, Oh, it's kind of boring, right? It's just like a, it looks like a black sweatshirt. It's just the camera and there's some hidden stuff here. But first of all, what I want to show you are these shoulders. So it is a layered shoulder where you've got the entire sleeve here, but then you've also got these raglan pieces that overlap the sleeves and you get this really, really nice sharp shoulder, layered shoulder with these raw hems here. And it actually really evokes to me the early days of Eddie Slimane's Celine, but building on it in a really nice way even, because what you also get at the hood is this kind of canvas screen printed logo patch going all the way over the rim of the hood that says the brand name Enfant Riche de Prime in this kind of gothic font here. And what this does, it's really tapping in to the type of thing that Chrome Hearts has done so well and has been so successful for them, which is this really, really strong branding with this extra bit of edge to it. Just having that go over the lip of the hood is an incredible look and is actually really, really striking, even if at a glance, it's a black hoodie, right? But there's some other interesting stuff going on here too. I mentioned the raglan sleeves. It's a really nice uh, kind of stretch fabrication. And it's also pretty heavily, moderately distressed with these kind of shotgun blast holes that are happening all over it, which is something that ERD did a lot, a lot in their early days. And this one, it is 100% cotton. It's made in the US as most of their stuff throughout time has been. And it is really from that early collection when they were still this scrappy punk upstart in the luxury world. And this is just such a grail at this point, like you never see this anywhere anymore. So I'm a massive, massive fan. And remember, don't forget, if you're into the hoodie, throw me a like. If you are into the sweater, throw me a comment. And now we can't leave this video without throwing a fit together, trying them on, seeing you how they feel, how they fit, all of that good stuff. So what are we pairing these with first of all? Well, for the pants, we're gonna stick with ERD. These are like these uh, canvas straight leg jeans. They're like denim kind of canvas, whatever, a very classic type of denim feel. And they also have like harnesses attached. They're so cool. You can put your legs through them or you can also put them over your shoulders to be a legit harness essentially, or they almost look like suspenders in a way. And for our shoes, we have some really, really cool ones from Comme des Garçons. These are leather shoes. They're black with this paint splatter all over. And they've got this kind of cool upturned toe, which reminds me a lot of Rick Owens and some other designers that do kind of old school style leather footwear construction. So that is our base, which means now it's time to try them on. Enjoy.
All right, I hope you had fun with that, seeing both sides of the modern luxury landscape. Don't forget to tell me which one you preferred. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Take a look at the other video on screen here. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time.